Every day you'd get over there, it'd be snowing lickety split. Big wind blowing at you. I know we come in once, one engine. I requested a left hand pattern because we couldn't get that one engine up in the air because it'd just flop you over. They fussed about that. I said, we're coming in left hand, and here we come. <laughs> we got by with it. We're at the end of the runway almost and didn't have enough power to take off. Over the bank, there was about a nine foot bank. It's lucky that land down there was like swamp rice, swamp land, or it would have blown up, I'm sure. And I hopped out over the wing, but I was kind of dizzy in the head. I guess they couldn't tell. And they took me right to Calcutta to the hospital, and I was there about three weeks. We were flying too much and everybody was sleepy. And we come back in a valley and I woke up and I could feel he's just kind of dancing along in the airplane. It wasn't right. I looked down and we was 13,000 feet, which was awful low for that altitude. I reached over and pushed the throttles up and gave it 20 degrees flaps. And when we got back to the base, there was tree chunks in the fuselage. <laughs> and uh, if I wouldn't have woke up, we wouldn't have made it, I guess, that trip. So the crew liked me for a day or two.